everybody, I'm the Picklesworth, and welcome back to Sev Tech Ages. Here we are, where we last left off, with this wonky crazy build. With it, See, the rocket ship, it started to take off, but I took its motors away so it couldn't fly off. <laughs> I haven't completely tore these things down because I wanted to make sure that I got the correct dimensions for them, like the, the space that they take up, so that when we went to move it and do a build that that way we would know where it goes. And I have a feeling I know what I want to do with this episode. Getting good feedback from, from everybody makes Piggy know what to do in his episode so that people can enjoy it. But before we get started with that, I've got a few more uh, viewer comments that were left. This is a uh, dog miner had left like a paragraph of information. So I kind of broke it up between some episodes. So let's go ahead and look through those real quick. So he said, first of all, the wooden pole which is this wooden post. He said there's a wooden, a steel and aluminum. They were, they used to be called telephone poles, I think is what it was. Now I had a viewer that was saying uh, you could set stuff up and wire should go right through it. But he said that um, the mod developer changed that and so you can no longer get wire to pass right through it. It actually sees it as an obstruction. So that's why we had one viewer comment saying I could set it up and wire should just go right through there, and then it didn't work. They were correct, but they were referring to an older version of the mod, and now that has been uh, uh, changed. But Dog Miner suggested a different thing that we could use. He called it a wall mount. So let's check and see what that is. Wall mount. Cool. Now, wooden steel or aluminum i wonder if they somehow like mess with stuff like can you run the wall mounts or does it does it have to be a certain type of wall mount like is it aesthetic is it for looks or does it have to do with the power that goes through the wires i don't know but we'll remember those wall mounts because i think that's going to help us move power around inside the structure for these things and make it look somewhat nice now, he also said you're going to want to build tanks for petroleum processing and other liquids. It's best to input liquid from the top and output it from the bottom. So let's, here goes that crazy glitch again. We can't see what Piggy's typing. Back it up all the way. Tanks? What are you? Side tanks for Steve Carts. No, we don't want to do that. It's probably going to be at immersive, immersive engineering, razor wire. Is there anything for tanks? You know what I bet it is? If it's a multi-block structure, it doesn't show up in that list, remember? So let's swap this out. And let's check here for T-A-N. Tanks? Tank. Alloys. Chemical thorough mining drill. Tank. The tank is a multi-block that provides space for large amounts of fluid. It will store up to 512 buckets of any fluid which can be piped in through the top or bottom block. Fluids can only be extracted from the bottom center block. Well, then why would you want to pipe fluid through the bottom if you can only get it out through the bottom? That makes no sense. Treated wood fence and 34 iron sheet metal. I think the sheet metal is pretty simple to make, so we might be able to do that. Applying a redstone signal to the bottom center block will make the tank output automatically. A comparator placed there will emit a redstone signal Proportional to how full the tank is. Attaching the comparator to one of the top four layers results in a signal proportional to the height of the comparator. That makes no sense, but okay. For example, a comparator attached to the second layer of a tank would not emit any signal until the tank is a quarter full. Oh, that's cool. So you, as it fills up, you can like pull a redstone, redstone signal from it based off of the layers of, of fluid in it. Um... It's quarter full and have a signal strength of 15 if the tank is half full or more. Full to the brim. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's how to do uh, uh, tanks. Let's look up pipes. Not pie. Fluid transport. Oh, I do have fluid pipes. Okay, transporting fluids has become quite essential in the engineering business. Fluid pipes and fluid pumps do exactly that. On their own, fluid pipes are quite slow at transferring fluids. But if a pump is used to insert the fluid, it, it'll move much. Okay. 
Peggy struggles with reading, but I don't struggle with knowing proper English. I might need to sit down and help this mob maker. <laughs> you can right click. That should be, I don't know. I think that should be two words. Okay. I'm going to stop being the, uh, I'm going to stop being the, the, the grammar uh, uh, person here. We'll just move on. Um, you can right click the connection piece of a pipe with an engineer's hammer to prevent it from connecting to that side. Fluid pipes can be covered with wooden or steel scaffolding. Simply right-click a piece of scaffolding onto a pipe to cover it. Break the pipe to retrieve the scaffolding. Oh, how many pages are there? Fluid pumps have three essential functions. They can be used to insert, used to insert into pipes at high pressure, to transfer fluid much faster, or they can pick up fluids from the world. Using your hammer on the base of the pump will switch the sides between in and output. In order for the pump to pick up fluid blocks, it will need a power input at the top and a redstone signal. Pumps can also be used to extract from tanks and other fluid containers that do not have an automatic output. This will also require a redstone signal, but won't consume power. Okay, so there's only two more pages. Water blocks will serve as an infinite fluid source for the pump as long as more than three blocks are connected. Fluid blocks that were picked up will be replaced with cobblestone to reduce the lag of flowing fluids. This behavior can be toggled off and on by using an engineer's hammer on the pump. Fluid transport, professional plumber, fluid outlet. The fluid outlet acts as an end point for a pipe system, allowing fluid to be placed in the world. The sides can be configured between in and output, open gate, or closed. A redstone signal can be used to turn the outlet off. The block will only ever output fluid up to its own height level. Okay. I don't understand what that's for, but okay. So we understand piping. Piping doesn't have to have a uh, 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 a pump in it. And I get the feeling this thing, we'll have to check and see the speed. Because <clears throat> the amount of creosote oil that this thing makes versus how quick do the pipes move it. We'll have to see if it's going to move it fast enough to get it to the tank. <clears throat> And then let's see here. You have one more uh, statement. Oh, yeah. So I was wondering when I had set up the pump jack and found my sample, was it um, was it necessary to put the pump jack where I found the sample? He said you can set up the excavator or pump jack anywhere inside the chunk where the resource was found, but don't do a permanent setup because resources will run out. So in other words, don't build like an entire base where I find a good chunk because eventually that resource will run out and then the base will become pointless. So we'll kind of have to figure out a way to move fluids around and different stuff like that. Have to have an oil pipeline. Yeah, those are always controversial. <laughs> so let's see here. I think I found an empty crate laying over there. We'll go ahead and put that here for now. Are you empty? You got a steel ingot in there. That'll work. Let's go and dump all this stuff in here and we'll come back for it as we need it. See, what do I need? Let's go in. We always want our tools available. Get that leather out of there. And I don't know if there's stuff in here or not. Let's let's find out. Hey, guys, have y'all come to watch? Are you coming to watch the show, too? Yeah, me, too. I have no idea what I'm about to do. <laughs> Slag and empty. Okay, so that works. So basically what we want to do is we want to set this up so that we can put coal into it. And then this thing is going to output from the front the uh the coal coke which we're going to run into the top of this and out the back we're going to run pipes that's going to go to a tank storage system so that we can um hold on to creosote we don't have to keep emptying the machine of creosote so let's see the first thing how tall was that tank one two three four five it's five blocks tall. And let's see here. How tall is this? One, two, three. Okay, that's four blocks tall. So we want five blocks. This might actually work. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can build this tank first. Let's see how much of this... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. How much of this... What was it? Iron sheet metal. 34 blocks. Yikes. So back that up. Iron, Enron, <laughs> that's a bad company. It's not how you spell it, but it's still bad. Iron, sheet metal, there we go. 
four for four. So basically what I need is 34 iron ingots to make 34, but that problem is that's not divisible by four, so we need 36. See, Piggy can do the quick math. That's when we get in the big numbers. So 36, one, two, three, four times nine is 36. That works. And I didn't convert like I said I would. I was a bad boy, I tell you. Yeah, what basically happened is I hit record after the last episode and just started going again. <laughs> so go ahead and swap these over. Oh, wait. Oh, it's got a little power in it. Awesome. Let's go ahead and use up what's, what power is in there. I love that. Hopefully that should be enough. It looks like it is. Are you going to be enough? You got this. Awesome. So we got all of that done. Wait. We're going to have to turn those into plates, aren't we? We sure are. Okay, so those have been down converted. But I get the feeling that we're probably going to have to plug this thing in. Where did I put it? I bet it's over here. All right, so we will need you. We'll need you. And you. You guys come with me. Hop up here. Why do I have two? Did I break something? I don't. Did I? Oh, because I started tearing everything down. Demolition guy. Demolition pig. That's what I am. <laughs> plug it in. Plug it in. Okay, so. Get his mitt. Oh, that's right. We can just stand here now because we're not wearing our magnetic uh, pants and shirt and helmet. We can just go crazy. Let's toss it all over there. I think it'll get through before the five minute rule. Awesome. So we'll get that sheet metal going. Now from there, what did it say we needed? Did it say we needed treated fence posts? Four treated wooden fence. So let's see, where is all of that kept? There's some uh, creosote and stuff in there. Whoop. Nothing in there. No. Uh oh, I hear my cat in the other room going crazy now. Everybody, he knows where I am. Quick, be quiet. <laughs> He absolutely loves to be in this room where I'm recording. I usually shut the door so that sound doesn't come in from the other rooms. And he can hear me through the door and he starts going, because he wants to get in here. Only problem is, I don't know if he wants to sit in my lap or if he's going to settle and go to sleep. So we're just going to be the jerk for today and we're going to keep the cat out. Yeah. Don't worry, kitty. Only in 40 minutes I'll be done with this episode and then you can come in and hang out with me. We'll do all the editing together. How about that? So how many more do we need? Did I do 36? So 12 more? All right, so while that's going, I don't have my crafting bench on a stick. That, that is an important tool, Piggy, and all you ever do is carry it around and forget you have it with you. So while that's, while that's going through there, let's go ahead and do this. We'll make, we'll make as many of these as we can. And then we'll just keep... We'll just keep going. Was it going to start raining, really? Come on now. You're going to make all this stuff rust. Got to quit leaving all my machinery out in the open like this. It'll rust everything. How are we missing one? I've got four right there. Look at this. I've got four. Okay. I'm going to be dif difficile. Muy difficile. All right. I see how it is. So what I'm thinking is, I kind of wanted to put something here. I don't want to obstruct this because I want it to be a through way. I really start feeling like once we get over here, we're starting to get too far away. But I feel like this structure is also going to be fairly large. Mm. I don't want the look of a, a, a fluid tank sitting near this thing. But we also need to be where we can get to power. So it's, it's like a struggle right now to try and figure out how do we do this so that it looks nice. Placement is everything, I tell you. And you know what? I'm thinking we'll probably, let's just build it over here in this corner. Because it's going to be a pretty big structure. I'm telling you. Um, all right, so let's break another leaf block. Hate to do that, but that's the way that goes. Um, and maybe we should build this, this up a little bit. Because it's going to look weird if the tank is lower in the ground. 
Like, the mind sees the elevation that a tank should be at and says, since fluid goes downhill, you should have it where the tank is a little bit higher up in the air. So let's see here. Let's just start. Okay, we got lots. If I shift, that'll let me get some stacks. There we go. Come on now, hit the right button. And don't look back. <laughs> so we'll fill in this, this area for now. The top of that tank is going to somewhat mess with the positioning of that. Although I wonder if we can run pipes upwards like that. And that it will still move fluid around. So let's see here. What was our... Three by three. Oh, and we want fluid to come out the bottom, but we can always we can always run pipes underground, right? So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, wow, that's crazy how I did that. Um, you're a villager, hanging out with him. See, it's what happens when you hang out with the wrong crowd, there, buddy. <laughs> you get corrupted. So one, two. Three, four, like that, right? And then we place that there. And then how tall? I guess we just uh, build up till we run out of blocks, right? I need to double check, because I think there's supposed to be a hollow in this thing. Um, book, where are you? Das Buch ist sehr gut, yeah. Two, three. So there's three hollow layers, and then the fourth layer is actually the cap. So that. That. So one, two, three, and then we should cap this off. Now how am I left with two more? Oh, that's right, because it didn't convert an even number to four. So do we click this multi-block? Fluids can only be extracted from the bottom. That pauses. Full to the brim. See, the thing is, do I... Like these other things, do I click it with the uh, the hammer? Or is that considered a valid structure now? Let's right-click it. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome! That Oh my gosh, you know what? With immersive engineering... I could so build, like, cool-looking spaceship stuff. That's amazing. I almost don't want to, like, build around it. <laughs> but I'm gonna. Okay, so from here, we're going to output from here. Didn't we have fluid pipe stuff already? Fluid pipes. Look at that. Look how that works. That's awesome. So at first, this is going to look a little wonky crazy the way we're going to do this. But let's put a fluid pipe here. No, no, no. We want it to come off the front. There we go. Man, I just love how this mod looks. The industrial look of it is so cool. So see, what I can do from here is directly put that right there. I'm trying to figure out if I want it so close to this structure, though, or if we want to leave a little bit of space. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put it inside and we'll build some walls around this thing and it's going to look like its own little factory structure on the inside. How about that? So we're going to tear this up. And the bottom center block is going to be the output for the pipe. So let's make sure to build that correct. Probably gonna need to just jump up here. Oh, that's weird. We actually like glitch through that. Can we grab that edge? There we go. That'll work. Okay, so from here, <clears throat> let's put that. I think because we don't have the structure built yet, it's not seeing it as a valid object to connect to. It's objecting. <laughs> it's objecting to the object. That's what it's doing. And don't worry, this all makes sense when we get it built. Right now, I know what you're saying, Piggy. If you put that much weight on that top pipe, you're going to bend it and break it, buddy. How in the world are you going to make everything work if you're over here tearing it all up? Well, we will rebuild. 
We will. We'll rebuild and we'll make it twice as good. How about that? That's that's not a promise. I make no promises, but I'll do my best. How about that? Okay, so can we run and jump? Oh, I did grab it. Darn it. You know what? No, I don't have it. Let's just do this. There we go. Got the climbing gloves. We'll make use of them. So from here, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Now what we're going to have to do is once we get all these pieces in place, we're going to have to put like structure around it so that it has some logic to it. Basically like a scaffolding setup or something. Okay, so squat and right click. There we go. See, it's really strong pipe. <laughs> That it is. And then we'll put the heaters. There we go. Those little heaters. The preheaters. Which are not really preheaters. They're just heating it. They're adding to... You guys like this? Is this cool? If y'all watch closely, you'll know how to go back home and build one of your own. Now it kind of does look like a spaceship. <laughs> nice. So coming out the front right here, I wonder if I could just put a... Um, what do we have? What was it? This. If I just ran that straight out the front and then put this directly underneath that. The only thing is we also need a way to get um, the iron ingots to go into the top. And I want to be able to do that where I can put the iron ingots somewhere and it automatically goes. So it might be good to put a, uh, a crate right there. I don't know what it's going to look like, though. Are there any kind of... Um, there's a Mercer of... Wait, this. With the Christmas tree. You come with me. You're more aesthetically pleasing. It might work. And we'll freeze the game. Okay, so we'll place you right there. And maybe what I can do is walk up to it, right click, and we can place the iron in here, and that will filter straight into this. Although, didn't we find that when we put that... Let's let's do that test. I think we had tried this, and for some reason, you can't go from a crate to the device. You have to... Um, whoop, you have to use a conveyor belt. So let's get the coal coke. Let's input coal coke. See, that's not working. Can we... Can we put a conveyor belt and pull the, the coke out of it? Okay, it did keep this stuff. So that's good to know. Um, conveyor belts. Do you pull items out? See, that's not working. But it's also going sideways. Go to the... There we go. Go to the pickaxe. <laughs> That's really weird. What what in the world are these storage crates for? Hmm. I think we know that a regular one works, right? Let's let's just double check here. So you come out of there. Pick you up. That is really strange. I thought we had it set up where it was actually going to start pulling stuff from crates. We had the crates here, didn't we? Is it that that only works if um if there's a valid object to go to? Let's try that. And then what we need like uh, let's get ourselves an an ingot. We'll just go ahead and sacrifice one ingot and convert it to a plate. I'm almost certain we're going to need at least one more plate eventually. Okay, so that doesn't work. It will input... You can input it from a, uh, a conveyor belt. See, hmm, didn't we have the vertical conveyor belt go into the box and then it pulled it out? Or maybe it didn't. Maybe that's why we just ended up not doing it that way. All right, so... Outputting from here is going to uh, 
going to go to the top of this. So let's go ahead and tear this down. I think it was, yeah, it's just a three by three by three with a hopper on top. Or was it? Oh, it is three deep. Okay. I'm sitting there going, it seems like the more I dig into it, <laughs> the more there is. It's the bricks that never end. They go on and on, my friend. Something, something, something. Da, 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 da. It's the bricks that never end. See, that's how you do that song. Okay, so. Hmm. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking there, sir. We're trying to figure this out. So let's go ahead and do that. We know we need at least a conveyor belt so we can get the stuff out. Might have to rethink how in the world we want to get the uh, the iron. Boop. There we go. So what I'm thinking is, if I do this, it'll pull the stuff out, and it'll immediately um, drop it down into the the next structure, which will be right. Oh my gosh! You get out of here. We do not need you blowing up this really really great structure we're trying to work on here, sir. I would sleep, but I'm not gonna. Okay, so it'll be hopper at the top and then a three by three by three, right? So hopper. And then one, two. Let's center it. Oh, there we go. Two, three. Let's see if we can do this without triggering the creeper. Okay, that works. And there we go. And then if we. How much time? I do like that that has no, um, what do you call it? Durability. It doesn't wear out. That's great. And then we'll put these on. Nope. Put these on. <laughs> oh, great. Let's see if we can sneak over here and do this. Uh-oh. Okay, so maybe that's where it comes in handy is um, if you misplace that. You can rotate it. <laughs> rotate you. Thank you very much. So there we go. So now we've got a little structure set up. And we can... Will this work? Oh, my phone's going crazy now. What are, what are you trying to tell me, phone? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> and then from... Okay, so that is going to... Hopefully that will output the slag from the front or the back. And maybe we can get like a better looking device to go in the front. But that should output the um, the iron. So I get the feeling that this is pretty much set up. And see, the cool thing is the way that this is actually working out. I didn't think about this. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, you. <laughs> we can put a, uh, inputs for power here. And then these two can go to a wall mount. And we can do the same on the other side. That would be cool. We can be up here and see all the bad guys that are wanting to come see what in the world we're going to build. So I'm going to need to probably build the outer wall where the fence is because we need at least... Hey, I got this great idea. When it's a storm, Piggy, stand on the tallest structure there is. That's not smart. Let's go ahead and sleep this away, because this is just going to get more and more treacherous and dangerous. So I figured out if you're just very, very careful, you can sneak your way in here. Whoop! And the storm should go away. Look at that. Storm go away. Don't even bother coming back another day, I tell you. Okay, so that's that structure set up and ready to go. So this should let us put coal in the top and iron right there. We could right click and add the iron at least for now that might work so okay so this is about half of the episode right there and we still need to get like an aesthetic set up for this thing some other stuff we need to get rid of those bad guys too <clears throat> all right and i need to get some power over here so i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to experiment with a little bit of stuff i know i'd like to do most of the stuff on camera but I've only got about 20 more minutes left in the episode, and I would like to have somewhat of a finished something going on here. 
So I'm going to experiment with a few little things and try and get this area a little more safe, bring you back, and then we're going to see if we can get this stuff set up and ready to go so that we can have a way to automatically make creosote, slag, and iron. All right, everybody. So we're back over here. And I got to thinking about it. I've, I've picked out some different blocks that I thought might look good for what we're going to work with. We're going to just try and experiment here and see what we can come up with. I don't know that I'll get the entire structure built, but we can try to see how much we can get done. So that Naga stone has like this really cool little effect on the top of it. And so it almost looks like those pillars belong in there, like concrete was poured around it. So that's a really cool little added feature. I like how that looks. I think we're going to go with that. Now what I was trying to figure out was how much space do we want around the machine? And I'm thinking what we want to do is probably two spaces so the exterior wall would be right here like that. So that's going to give us enough room to kind of walk around and somewhat see what's going on with the machine. I still really haven't figured out how I want to get the iron ingots up there to that spot. Um, it may just end up being like a hopper with a, 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 a crate sitting above it because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get a way to go up there to get the, the coal. Here's what I'm also wondering. Could I run like a, uh, a, a conveyor belt, a vertical conveyor belt, and it would go over the top of this like one of these, and if it was coal it would drop it down. And if it's not coal, it'd be iron ingots and they would go forward and drop right there. We might experiment with that and see if we can get that to work. And the sun's going to go down right when we're trying to build, which means we're going to end up with more bad guys over here. So let's, let's quickly sleep the night away. The other issue I haven't really figured out yet is lighting. We're going to need to do some form of interior lighting, but I want it to be, um, a little more industrial looking. So this might be like um, something that we work with a little bit here to try and work out the outer structure. And then from there, I'm going to come back later and figure out the rest of it. So we're going to go one, two, and then at this diagonal point right here is where the exterior wall is going to be at. So this is going to be our corner right here. We'll go ahead and build that up for now. And then right here is our output. So we probably want to do like something right here, like that. Now I don't want this whole front to be open. What I'm thinking about doing is this could be the build for around the structure. And then we'll have like tapered inward a little bit and something just a little bit smaller. I still don't know what's supposed to be down there. I can't remember. Is that going to look right with the elevation like that? Or do we want to lift this up and build the, uh, cause I'm thinking what we're going to do is on the inside, we'll possibly build up like ground level will be up here. And then this could go down a little bit like a sump pit. Like basically what it would be is a lower spot so that if this tank ever burst, we could uh, hold a bunch of fluid in the bottom before it like overflowed and went everywhere else. So what's going to end up happening, let's see here, we're just going to do some temporary blocks for now. That's going to be floor level. Come here, you. It'll be like that. That's ground level. So we're going to have the ground go upwards a little bit right here. So this, we need to move this up one block. Oh gosh, I forgot that stuff takes forever to break. So let's see here, let's go ahead and do this. That's going to be like that. So, oh gosh, <laughs> like a heart attack. I'm like, why am I falling? Let's do that. Okay, so from center, one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go one, two, three. Uh-oh, we're going to be two blocks outside of the fence. So this is going to be a little, a little iffy when it comes to the whole building thing but I think if we can do this in the daytime we'll be okay and we can come back later and extend out the um, the fence line this is where that okay so that corner is going to go right there 
and then let's do this and that's going to make a two block high spot and so we don't have to worry about bad guys actually climbing over that and making their way over here i'm going to break you down you take longer to break than i thought you would but it's okay we'll go ahead and break it down nonetheless now i wonder if using these what is this stuff wet mud wet mud might make an interesting look for the bottom of the sump pit because we're going to be having creosote coming out of here. Can I keep this as wet mud? I can't remember. Let's see here. If we That's going to give me clumps, isn't it? Yep, mud clumps. 5 mud clumps. Can we turn those back? Oh, it stays wet mud. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and start moving that. Why do I not have a shovel? I thought I owned a shovel. Huh, maybe I've just never stopped and made a proper shovel. I made an axe and a pickaxe. We're going to have to do that. Come on, Peggy. How in the world are you going to run a series without proper tools? <laughs> so we'll pick all these up. And we're just going to play around for a second and see how big do we want this, this little sump area to be. Let's see. I'm just... I'm... Trusting that there's no mobs that are going to sneak up on me. Get those out of there. And we'll get those. Okay, so... We'll start with this. I don't think there's a variation to this block. It would be nice to kind of mix and match a little bit to get some more uh, variation going. But if we don't have it available, it's okay. This is just the fun of doing stuff with modded. You get to try and work with new blocks that maybe normally you wouldn't work with. Two, three, four, five. Well, there's a lot of wet mud over here. It's like a pig's paradise, I tell you. So we'll do that, backfill that. Am I getting at least as many mud blocks as I'm digging? We gotta lose something. Let's lose the, the flint. I haven't needed flint in a while. Okay, we're safe. Two, three, four. Oh, well, we need one stinking more block. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Does that give us enough? Yep, that'll work. It seems like we're getting one more mud clump. Like eventually if we kept digging at it, we would end up with more mud than what we started with. So let's go ahead and backfill this so we don't end up with any bad guys spawning in here. There we go. So we got a bit of a sump pit going right there. So that's kind of cool. We could build a, uh, let's see, let's do, I kind of grabbed these. Let's see here. Maybe if we mix these up a little bit, like it could look like, um, just like mossy mildew kind of stuff growing down here. And if we mix match, the, oh, those, those actually work. Okay. So let's do that. Go all the way around with that. I'm going to not bother with the uh, the corners. So that's kind of looking cool. Looks a bit like a sump pit actually down in there. It'd be cool if we could get uh, some fluid in there. That would be cool. Be like, uh, your tanks are leaking, buddy. You might want to fix those. <laughs> so from here, let's go ahead and extend this out. Uh-oh. Did I do something wrong here? Okay, that's a too, too wide space. Okay. So let's see here. I don't see any bad guys. We can get this out of the way real quick and put that fence back. Even though that's going to extend right there. So from here, that is going to come to... Let's do this. Since we know we're going to have to anyway. Oh, I can't climb backwards. Never realized that. Okay, so that and that. Now, here's the only problem. I'm thinking that that is going to be an awful lot of solid wall to, um, to have dark. Like, maybe some kind of design would be nice in that. That's kind of looking okay. Let's see, is there an... Odd or even. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10. So it's even. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we should be able to count 5 from the other. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's our center point right there for the structure. So do we want to do something like that? That might work. I'm kind of getting the feeling that maybe maybe we do something like that. Although that's kind of more the chateau look. So we really don't want to rob that look from there. Hmm. What else do we have to work with here? So we could, let's see here. Do I have any more of these? I've got two more of these. If we mimic the chateau, if we were to do something like that, what would that look like? Let's just go ahead and there we go. Now, let's see how quiet I am? It's because I'm thinking. <laughs> so let's see what that looks like. Hmm, I don't know about that. And this might be, see, sometimes what I do is I will know in advance all of the little embellishments and things that I want. And then sometimes what I do is kind of like this. We're going to start with a solid structure. And then we can come back and kind of like chisel away pieces. Of course, knowing me, I've got to pick the one block that's going to be really difficult to break up. I also need to make sure that I don't run out. So let's do this. Let's we'll, we'll call this the top of the structure. And then we'll we'll add some kind of little cap to the top of it. What does this look like? Is this too just too big and too See, it it needs something. Maybe like windows, openings, something like that. That could be cool. Go ahead and set this up. We'll come back and put a floor in here. But let's see. So one, two, three, four. So if we knock out two, like this, that. And we'll make it a two by three so that it feels taller than it is wide. And it actually is taller than it is wide. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's starting to look a little nicer. Probably be a good idea if we went ahead and put the gray up there as well. Wow, did we already go through a whole Minecraft day? Let's go ahead and sleep again. Whoop! I'm just trying to keep an eye on my time, make sure this doesn't go too long. I know some of y'all have commented you like to watch watch me build because you like to see like the methodology. So I think this is a, a, a style of showing you how I build that I've not done before where you actually see me more like fiddling about and not quite sure of what I'm going to do. So this is, you know, this is just how you do these kind of things. That and that, and then we wanted to do the same kind of window right here. So up one diagonally, and that will be the start. We'll do two wide. One, two, three tall. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three. Oh, I did two by four. Okay, that'll work even better, actually. Let's do like that. Now, I wish I had a lot of uh, brick. Like this. I wish I had a lot of bricks. But I don't, and I don't think there's a way to craft bricks. Is there? You can make it from that. Oh, okay, you can make it from that. I don't know if bricks is going to work with this color scheme though so I'm going to try something else here first real quick I think I have them we have and decide okay here we go oh we only have one <laughs> <laughs> I 
That was anticlimactic, I tell you. So let's run over here. I think we can uh, craft craft these. Will that let us? Nice. So it is the OG recipe. Awesome. So to give a little bit more shape to the windows, what I'm thinking is we can do something like this. So that would be an awning. And then... Oop, that was a weird little hiccup. How does that look? Doesn't look too bad. It's got a nice nice shape coming along to it. Hmm, I wonder. That might be too much. Yeah, it's too much. It'd be cooler if we could get them to inset in there, but the problem is you can't get... Um, alternating half slabs in the same spot. So that's kind of stinkerish. And let's see here. If I was to do like that, so it's like a bottom ledge. How does that look? That's kind of working. Now if we do this and this, because otherwise we're gonna have a gap and now maybe we can use the fence post. What will this look like? Yeah, he eats the food fast because he's happy. <laughs> that kind of works. I wish that I had some kind of a, a, a stair that could go right there. See, I don't have any of this material, whatever that is. Let's do this. Stair? and see what stairs are available to us. It's weird that some point to the left and some point to the right. Limestone brick stairs? Stone stairs? That might work. Although, although we might start getting into the realm of it's starting to get a little too busy as far as too many different kind of materials, but let's just give it a try real quick. Okay, I think that was enough for the stairs. We'll do enough at least that I can like try to experiment and then maybe what we can do is you can come back next episode and see the final product. Why is that not working? Stone stair. See? Okay, we're going to be like that. <laughs> but this might be... Uh, uh, I really hope this works. Just visually. And it'd be cool because it's... Uh-oh. Hmm. Huh. Nope. That doesn't work. It was a good try, though. It was a good try. Maybe we can do like that. Because, see, the other thing is we need it to be spawn-proof. Nope. Now it's too boxy. So come up here. I guess another thing we could do... Let's see. Can we make buttons? Yes, we can. And we're running out of space. Sorry, uh, sorry, uh, Flint. You're just not needed. We'll put a button there. How does that work? That'll work. That's not too bad. All right. So I think what I'm going to have to do is see if I can get the rest of this exterior wall done and maybe kind of work on the interior pit just a little bit. Oh, that is so cool. I had no idea that grass would spread on those blocks. Is that right, or did it look like that when I placed them down? Mossy Crag Rock bottom, Mossy Crag Rock top. Hmm. That is really cool, though. I like that. So I'm going to have to experiment with a little bit of this off-camera and just see if I can get more of the build done. Like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call this a quits here, and you can come back next episode as a surprise, and we can see what in the world this building is going to look like. So if you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed this a little bit of building, showing a little bit of logic, and getting this stuff set up so that we can get it ready to go and get it hooked up. If you enjoyed that, please click that like button. And if you want to see more of these episodes as I release them, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click it. Click that notification bell so that way no YouTube no knows to notify you whenever the episodes come out. I'm going to get to experiment with this a little bit more. Hopefully, get it done by next episode. And that's when I hope to see you is in the next episode.